Good evening. Victoria's Chief Police Commissioner has denied there's an African gang crisis as he announced the formation of a community task force to end the violence. There was more trouble today. Thugs involved in two terrifying armed hold-ups. Chief Commissioner Graham Ashton was quick to address the issue that has been plaguing Melbourne. They're not simple issues to be solved overnight. On his third day back since returning from stress leave, he announced a community task force to help combat African gang crime. What we'll be doing from today though is involving community more in the solutions. We must work together to address any underlying uh, core issues that are making young people behave in such manner. He concedes there's a problem, but denies it's a crisis. No, I don't think it's a crisis. Um, I wouldn't describe it as a crisis. But in the past 24 hours, African gangs have been behind two violent armed service station hold-ups. The thugs smashed their way into one Thomastown store and jumped the counter. They then raided the cigarettes cupboard and the cash register before slapping a worker across the face. He's fine so far. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's not injured. He's safe. The Chief Commissioner believes the most recent escalation in violence is due to the school holidays. And while African leaders agree, they say that drugs and alcohol are a large part of the problem. The African community don't condone or support those who are committing crime. We'll continue to take a zero tolerance approach to any offending. We'll continue to make arrests. We'll continue to investigate. United in their goals, even if their definitions differ. The issues that are happening are not uh, in any way, shape or form uh, related to gang, as they have been reported. No, I didn't say they're not gangs. Uh, don't get me wrong. Tegan Dolling, 7 News. Attendants at two Thomastown service stations have been terrorised during violent robberies just minutes apart. Police say African youths were involved but are unsure if the raids are linked. Kieran Jones has the story. Six masked men flooded into the BP on Delton Road at quarter to five this morning. Two of the well-organised group leaned across the counter and threatened the terrified staff member with hammers and knives before gaining access to the restricted area. Once they were all behind the counter, they went straight for the cigarette cupboard. They filled their bags with dozens of packets before trapping the attendant near the till. Moments later, the crime spree was over as the intruders fled with their loot and left behind only a small heap of rubbish on the ground. Luckily, the attendant escaped unharmed. The attendant was uh, physically moved around the store and he was slapped a number of times to the face, um, but he didn't sustain any injuries. Only minutes before the BP robbery, another attack happened at the nearby Caltex. Four offenders were involved there, smashing their way into the store before taking cigarettes. The attendant fled to a back room and was unharmed. So obviously the attendants are pretty, um, pretty upset in relation to the incident. Uh, it's quite a high impact um, offence has occurred. These two service stations are only about 400 metres away from each other on Dalton Road, but police are yet to confirm whether they believe the same offenders were involved in both incidents. The, uh, the offenders in relation to the first incident uh, were described as an African appearance by a witness, um, and in relation to the second uh, incident they were also described you know, of African appearance. Good evening. Police will be investigating death threats against members of the African community after a new task force was established to tackle youth crime. Keen to reassert his authority, the Chief Commissioner has rubbished claims there's a gang crisis in Victoria. Karianne Greenbank reports. Shoulder to shoulder, in a show of unity, Victoria's police chiefs and the community members on the front line. We stand strong with Victoria Police. After the trashing of a Werribee Airbnb property, the vandalism of a Tarnit community hall and a night of violence at St Kilda, fear surrounding African street gangs has heightened in the past few weeks. And African community leaders say that's opened them up to racial vilification and hate crimes. They've been subject to death threats. The fact that uh, there's... You know, vilification occurring, I guess, is disturbing, but I guess it's not surprising. To tackle crime and the perception of it, a community task force has been set up consisting of African leaders who will feed information to police and help pinpoint youth crime hotspots. We must work together to address any underlying uh, core issues that are making young people behave in such manner. After a political barrage from both sides, including the Prime Minister... We are very concerned at the growing gang violence. Peter Dutton. The reality is 
you know, people are scared to go out to restaurants at the night time. And today, Green Senator Richard Di Natale. What we've got is a problem of racist politicians who are far too prepared to use race to try and drum up votes. This afternoon, the Chief Commissioner hit back. I've heard people say that Victoria is not a safe place to live, that, uh, you know, I thought, that's complete and utter garbage. As frustrated community leaders say they've had enough. Trying to use crime uh, for political gain is not acceptable. At this stage, the Community Task Force doesn't have any funding. The Chief Commissioner says he'll be asking the Police Minister to pay those African leaders involved to help them fight crime in their community. Associating criminality with our own heritage isn't the right way to go around it. Carrie Ann Greenbank, Nine News.